in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the hearts of the faithful. And enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the faith of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, granted by gift of the same spirit, we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And thou, O Lord, shall open our lips. And our tongue shall announce your praise. Incline unto our aid, O Lord. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mighty God, we have come before your most holy presence. The hour has come. Come and be seated on your throne and uh, administer the affairs of this prayer. Father, fill your instruments with the fire and with the power. Amen. Let it be you that will minister, O oh God. Oh Jesus. Now you have come as the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We ask you to touch your children, for the hour has come. Father, we are inviting your angels to come. All the different hierarchies of angels, may they come and be with us in the prayer. Amen. We are inviting the special way, Archangel Michael, the angel of war, the Archangel Gabriel, the angel of good news, even now the Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing, we are inviting them all. The Archangel Uriel and all the mighty angels of God, may they make a procession and enter into this prayer atmosphere. In the Amen. name of Jesus, Amen. let the atmosphere become hot. Let it become miraculous. Let it be a moment that God's children are going to encounter God in a special way. Hell, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, at this hour, we are also recognizing and inviting the 24 elders in heaven. We are inviting them to come and be with us in the prayer. Amen. And uh, our own queen and our mother, the woman of the day, hey, the most powerful woman in all generations. The most superior mother general. Ha <laughs> ha. The victress of the heavenly quarters. The mother of our own general Jesus. The mighty king Amen. of glory. Oh, Amen. Jesus. It is the time to invite our blessed mother. That the queen of heaven is coming today to visit us. It's a special privilege. It's a special privilege. Many of us have been desiring divine visitation. Now is the opportunity to experience divine visitation. As mm -hmm. our mother is coming to visit us as a group and to visit us individually so that we shall receive special miracles tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, my friends, Whatever place you are, we are going to give a standing ovation to our blessed mother, the queen of heaven, the queen of earth, the queen of this family, of the house of Jesus and many ministries, the queen of our individual lives. As we stand up now, we give her a standing ovation with a trumpet salute to usher her into the arena.
Our Queen, we salute you. As yeah. God the Father saluted you and sent forth the angel Gabriel to give you the heavenly salute, saying, Hail Mary, full of grace. So we have united our mouths, our lips, with the lips or leaves of angel Gabriel, and with the leaves of all people all over time and history, who since the inception of the rosary have declared you queen and honored you as their mother, thereby fulfilling the prophecy that came from you, that all generations shall call me blessed. Mm -hmm. Oh, blessed mother, we are uniting our lips with the lips of all generations to call you blessed Amen. and uh, to call you our own queen. Yes. And now that you have come, we ask you, Mama, as the Trinity has taken seat, Mama, take your seat. Amen. You are the queen of heaven. Amen. Your angels are here. And they call you their queen. Amen. Oh, Jesus. And we also call you our queen. Amen. Therefore, Mama, in this moment of prayer, touch your children. Let the miracle of things happen tonight. Amen. Even as we are praying, let the grace flow extraordinarily. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, mighty Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That even in this atmosphere, the heavenly community are here. And we cover everywhere with the blood of Jesus. And we decree that today, that great things shall happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, El Shaddai. We appreciate you. We Amen. offer you, O oh, our blessed mother, our heartfelt joy that you are here. Even with the song, we are thanking you. Oh, we are joyful because you are here. Blessed Mama, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here to bless your children. To pray for your children. We Amen. appreciate you, Mama. In Amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We are glad to come today to the throne of grace. Because we have our Mother Mary as our August Queen. We are glad. To come today to the throne of grace. Because we have our Mother Mary as our August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, our August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, our the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, our the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, we welcome you. We are glad to come today to the throne of mercy. Because we have our Mother Mary as the August Queen. We are glad to come today to receive our breakthrough. Because we have our Mother Mary as the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, we welcome you. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, 
Our Mother Mary, we welcome you. We are glad to come to the, to the throne of mercy. Because we have our Mother Mary as the August Queen. We are glad to come to the, to receive our favor. Because we have our Mother Mary as the August Queen. The August Queen. Our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. Oh. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, our Mother Mary, we welcome you. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus. Amen. This is a song introduces the reason for this gathering. Amen. The reason for this gathering is that our blessed mother wants to appear to her children, wants to reveal to her children her presence as the August Queen. It is a great privilege that the woman who is the queen of heaven, the queen of earth, the queen of all hearts, that she is here yes. to reveal the identity of heaven to you, to help you to encounter the power of her son. My dear people of God, this first Saturday devotion is Mary, the August Queen. Hey, she says, you see, we are talking of divine visitation. We are talking of Mary visiting you. That's what we're talking about. Too. When Mary is visiting you, heaven is visiting you. You, see, you need to understand Amen. that our blessed mother, as a queen, no queen goes alone. You can't see a queen walking alone or going alone. Queen will always go with entourage. So with our blessed mother. And when she is coming, as she has come to the prayer meeting, hell yeah, yeah. The Trinity is with her. Amen. The angels are with her. Amen. The 24 elders are with her. Amen. She is here fully prepared in the company of the heavenly community. So she's coming to visit you. You have heard how our blessed mother visited Elizabeth. But that was not your story, it was the story of Elizabeth. You have heard of how even God himself visited Abraham in Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 to 15. We don't have time to go through all that. But we know that God visited Abraham. But he did not take the form of God. He came as three men, just men, ordinary men. Sometimes God will hide his divinity in, in our humanness. Even Jesus himself is God, but human. God hid his identity in Jesus. And as the Bible tells us in Genesis 18 verse 1 to 15, Abraham, who said these angels, these heavenly beings, <laughs> unknown to him that he was hosting heaven. At the end of the day, tell Jesus, the man who, before the angelic visitation, had no child, received a prophecy that by this time next year, you would have your wife would have a, a child. That visitation brought solution to the problem of Abraham. And I'm here to announce to you, my beloved of God, if this will happen to Abraham, what do you think will happen when the Queen of Heaven visits you? You will receive divine solution in the name of Jesus. Amen. Problems will be solved. That problem is not your problem. 
It is a problem of blessed mother. Mother is taking care of that matter. Mother is buying your case today. Hi, yeah, yeah. Jesus. She's there to intercede for you. Whenever she comes, things must change. Heaven cannot visit you and things will remain the same. It has never happened before. And it won't happen today. Amen. Whenever heaven comes to visit, things change. Think of even when the angels visited Abraham. Although Abraham did not know they were angels. But we know that that was how Isaac came into the family of Abraham. The family of Abraham used to be Abraham and Sarah. Now you have an increase. Child of God, through this prayer, you shall experience an increase in your life, increase in your Amen. prayer life, Amen. increase in your mercy, increase Amen. in your grace and coming in, increase Amen. in the things you are believing in God for, increase in Amen. your finances, increase Amen. in your anointing, in the Amen. name of Jesus. Somebody is experiencing an increase because of the intervention of our blessed mother. Mary Bokere Boshe. Even when we are in the John chapter 2, verse 1 and following, and there was wine in the pot, and the wedding was going on, but all of a sudden, there was no more one in the pot, and our blessed mother interceded, and we know that after meeting Jesus, there was a new wine, a wine that was sweeter than the old wine. In other words, the, the pot without wine was now filled with wine. There was an increase in the name of Jesus. I made that the increase for you. Let there be an Amen. increase. Rima Makeribo Sheriba. May God put it Makeribo. Let somebody express increase. A time of increase has come. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Think of our blessed mother. How powerful, how majestic she is. And she is here as our August Queen. <laughs> Whenever you have the August Queen with you, you have abundance of God's presence. Amen. Anytime our Blessed Mother visits a person or a family, check it in history, she will never leave that person that way. <laughs> Jesus. Now she is coming as a queen. When she is visiting you, she will give you gifts. By culture, when a, a queen is visited, the queen will give gifts. And you also give gifts to the queen. <laughs> So there are going to be divine pleasantries today. Amen. Exchange of pleasantries. Divine gifts. Because Mama is here loaded. Amen. Whenever Mary visits her children, she brings joy. Amen. She brings healing. Amen. The weak gets strong. The weak is encouraged, is strengthened. Those people are encouraged, encouraged. they are strengthened. Visitation. That's how important visitation is. But what is making her own so unique is that her presence is not just her, her presence as a person. Her presence is also the presence of God because God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, God the Son, they are, they are all here. <laughs> and the angels are here. 24 elders are here. So when my blessed mother visits you, you will not see the reason why you are going to experience a change in situation. Good man. People generally desire a special visitation by someone of a far social rank. Maybe political rank. Maybe financial status. And when such people visit us, we call them August visitors. <laughs> and their visits are always very remarkable. Amen, and amen. Amen. Can you imagine the president visiting you? 
Even during the time a president visits, he can give a state pardon. Some president could visit a prison and uh, pardon someone who is supposed to be executed. If the president says, I am giving this person presidential pardon, nobody argues it again. It's final. <laughs> Can you not imagine the queen of heaven and earth coming today to visit you in that ugly situation, in the prison-like situation you are going through? That she's coming into those rooms that are like a prison, so locked up. They were supposed to receive and conceive children, but they have not conceived. Mama is coming today to break open the prison gates. Hi, hi, hi. Mama is coming today to visit you in a special way. You are going to have a handshake with Mama. Amen. That will be, you have an appointment with Blessed Mother today. We have an appointment Amen. with her. That's why we are here. Amen. We are here on appointment. Yes. Divine appointment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Jesus. And the unusual things will happen. Whenever you have divine visitation, you receive unusual privileges, unusual blessings, uncommon graces. Not talk of a blessed mother being full of grace. A woman that carries high favor. And Amen. as she comes, <laughs> you will also be favored. And you amen. also carry uncommon blessings and uncommon grace. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. So I prophesy unto you today that the visit of our blessed mother we pay you a divine visit today that things will change, ugly situations will change in the name Amen. of Jesus. That supernatural Amen. laws that take over natural laws over your life. That natural Amen. laws shall be suspended. That law that Amen. says you are owing somebody. That law that says that a spirit is demanding of your life a worship of such spirit. But today, there is a demand from heaven that you are set free. That the mother is here to intercede for you. So that any power of darkness that is set against you, today they are destroyed by fire of God. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I am praying for somebody now. I am praying for somebody now that our mother is here. May she locate you in the name Amen. of Jesus. I don't Amen. know the natural law that is speaking against your life. I don't know the natural law that is holding you down. But due to supernatural visits of our blessed mother, somebody is receiving a takeover. Somebody is receiving Amen. victory. Somebody is Amen. crossing over. Somebody is expecting a divine Passover in the name of Amen. Jesus. May God Amen. look at you today. May Mama fight your battle in the name Amen. of Jesus. May the praise of God come down. May the anointing of God come down on you in the name of Jesus. This is a woman that carries power. This is a woman that when she comes, even the armies of the enemies are going to be in disarray. The enemies are in disarray today because our blessed mother has come with her angels and he has set her angels in array, in battle array. I turn to some song of so much as a term. And so it is today. That for the power of God, I know the Holy Ghost is flowing now. And every mandate of the enemies against you, they are put in this array. They are going today. In the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Jesus. Very back. Our mother is here to cross the head of Satan. Our mother is here yes. to cross the head of Satan. Our yes. mother is here to cross the head of Satan. Our other queen is here to cross the head of Satan. Our other queen is here now to cross the head of Satan. Our other queen is here to open our doors. Our other queen is here to pray for us. Our other queen is here to open the door. Our other queen is here now to cry the devil. 
Our August Queen is here now to cry the Satan. Our August Queen is here to destroy the demons. Our August Queen is here now to crush the demons. Our August Queen is here to give us a blood to. Our August Queen is here now to crush the demons. To crush the Satan, to crush the demons, to destroy the demons, to crush the Satan, to destroy the Satan, to crush the demons. Our other queen is here to crush the Satan. Our other queen is here to crush the Satan. Our other queen is here now. To destroy the demons, our other queen is here now. To give us a blessing, our other queen is here now. To give us a blessing, our other queen is here. To give us a blessing, our other queen is here now. To give us a breakthrough, our other queen is here now. To cry the demons. To crush the Satan, to crush the failure, to destroy the sickness, to destroy the sickness, to destroy the barrenness, to destroy the barrenness. Our August Queen is here to crush the Satan. Our August Queen is here oh, to destroy the demons, to crush the serpent, to crush the head of Satan. To cross the head of serpent, 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 to destroy the Vietnam, to destroy the Vietnam, to destroy the Vietnam, to destroy the Vietnam. Our other queen is here. Pure our sickness, our other queen is here now. Pure our sickness, our other queen is here. To cross the demon, our other queen is here. To cross the demon, our other queen is here. To open the door, our other queen is here. To give us a breakthrough, our other queen is here now. To pray for us.
<laughs> you see, you may have heard it from me before. One day, I was going through National Geographic. Many of you know National Geographic. That is a secular media. And they, they portrayed the image of a blessed mother on the front page, cover page. And I was surprised. And they say that Mary is the most powerful woman in the whole world. Remember that Mary is not existing on earth now, physically. Yet, even when she was not, she's not on earth, she is reckoned as the most powerful woman that this world has ever experienced. Is that the woman you joke with? <laughs> she is our powerhouse. I know that there used to be a woman called uh, Queen Elizabeth I and Margaret Thatcher. And people have reckoned them in the political circle. Okay? And they were political, global political powerhouses. But I tell you, we have a woman who is our own heavenly powerhouse. Mama is a powerhouse. When she comes to you, fight for you. I like the way she deals with demons. This is Satan that is making noise. If you see the way Mama deals with it, <laughs> you see, is this Satan? She saws. So this is our day to rejoice. We are happy that our blessed mother has come. Amen. That is my joy. You see, let me tell you something. Whenever heaven comes down, either that God is coming down himself directly, or he's sending angel Michael, or any of these archangels, or angels come to fight for you. <laughs> and God bless you. If it's blessed mother, the queen of heaven is coming. Oh my goodness. You are blessed. That's why I'm telling you today, child of God, you are blessed. Because Mama is here. The August Queen has, has come to be your August visitor. Amen. When she visits you, you must have a rewarding experience. Amen. Hell, Jesus, divine visitation. When divine power comes down, when the power of God comes down, as made it carries the power of God, Natural laws will be suspended. You know, I said this before, and I need to repeat that again so that we understand the importance of the prayer. When natural laws are suspended, then supernatural laws will take over. Mm -hmm. This is a woman that died. The next, by natural law, she will say decaying, but she could not decay. Natural laws were suspended. And the angels came and carried her body and soul into heaven. <laughs> you see that? Whenever Mary comes down, supernatural laws will take over. And natural laws will be suspended. So I don't know what is, what is the explanation for what they are going through. There may be natural laws to explain what they are going through. Okay? Maybe the reason why you cannot get that appointment because you're not, you don't have a green card or you don't have, you're not a citizen. That's a natural law. Because to get certain jobs, you have to have certain documents. But when the power of God comes down and says, this is what I want, it does not matter what is happening. Look at in this world, apart from Jesus, you see every person born or conceived carrying original sin. But after Jesus, Mary, and that's, that completed it, no other person, a woman that was conceived without a sin. Do you know that? Do you know that? <laughs> Even the Bible seems to be speaking of her in Wisdom chapter 7, verse 25, that for she is a woman. She is a breath 
of the power of God and a pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty God. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. Are you hearing it? Yes, amen, amen, amen. And people are asking, how can this woman be born and be conceived by by human beings? I will not carry shame. Even when the Bible says in Romans 3, verse 23, that all I have seen. Please, friends in Christ, wisdom 7, verse 25, speaks of this woman, even as addresses Mary, apply to Mary, this was addressed to wisdom, apply to Mary, that she seen that nothing, nothing, nothing defiled gains entrance into her. Amen. This is even scripture, what are we talking about since now? I don't want to talk about Father of you. Addressing the blessed mother as the purest crystal that reflects that which is God. So everyone got his sin, but not blessed mother. That is what is called the law of exemption. Mary enjoys the law of exemption from sin. This is not my theology, but this is just scriptural. Look at this man called Enoch. The Bible talks about him in Genesis 5 verse 24. Enoch was carried to heaven directly. That is the law of exemption at work because he was supposed to die. But Enoch did not die. <laughs> Enoch was carried body and soul into heaven. This is scripture. If you go to 2 Kings 2 verse 11, Elijah was carried body and soul into heaven. He didn't die. These are people who enjoyed exemption from death. The natural law says, as far as you're a human being, all shall die. Hey, hey. But the God says, I have exemption. Look at Shedrach, Mishach, and Abednego. The law of combustion says that if you put anything in the fire, that thing will burn. But Shedrach, Mishach, and Abednego we are exempted from burning. Come on, am I talking to somebody tonight? The scripture is my testimony. Daniel 3, verse 16 to 28. You see that Shedrach, Mishak, and were put to the fire. They fire not burn them. Why? The power, the law of exemption. I don't know why when we talk of Mary exempted from sin, it becomes a, conf- it becomes a problem. It becomes a, 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 something that people would make a debate of. Why? Is it impossible? For God to do such miracles, even when we don't even doubt that God is Enoch. Not, not allowing him to die. Not allowing Elijah to die. Not allowing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be born in the fire. We, we believe these things. But when it comes to Mary, we begin to argue. Why? <laughs> this is a queen. This is a queen. Not Queen Esther, who died, I could show you his grave, her grave, but not to make <laughs> the power of exemption from the, of the law. We may remember a man called King Hyserus. King Hyserus. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! The king who was the husband of Queen Esther. Remember that? There was a prophecy that King Hyserus had the minister to Queen Esther. When a law was released to kill the Jews, Ahasuerus gave a mandate to Naaman, sorry, to, 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 to go and kill the, the people of God. You see that? <laughs> so, but King Ahasuerus now looked at Esther and says, in Esther chapter 15 verse 13, Esther, thou shalt not die, for this law is not made for you, but for others. Esther chapter 15 verse 13. 
But they have said no, my king. These are my people. What did they need out of their life? And my people will die. And she began to intercede. The law of exemption. <laughs> so Esther could not die by the power of the law of exemption. And so the Jews were saved by the power of Esther's intercession. And Mary is here to intercede for us. As a queen, so that the law that is speaking against you, the ancestral law that is demanding for your destruction, shall be destroyed today. Oh, Jesus. Maribu Kurubu Sharaba. Mate Keripa Keribushi. I am praying now for somebody. As I ask our blessed mother, the woman who enjoys the supernatural law of exemption, that as she comes to visit somebody now, may she administer and trigger and activate the law of exemption in your life now. I don't know the natural law that is holding you down. I don't know the power that is holding you down. Oh, my Basse, let our mother intercede for you in the name of Jesus. Let that embargo be lifted today in the name of Jesus. Let somebody begin to pray now. Talk to mother, talk to mother. Mother is able to intercede for you. And there will be a law of exemption now. A law of exemption today in the name of Jesus. Do you still remember the case of Joshua? Joshua <laughs> had a, a matter to deal with, a war to fight. Okay? And he began to pray that the sun shall not go down, that the moon shall not move, the sun shall not move until this fight is over. <laughs> and the Bible says that on that day, on that day, the sun stood still, and the moon stood still over the valley of Ajalon. Joshua 10 verse 12. These are laws of exemption. <laughs> that what is supposed to happen could not happen. And when our blessed mother comes, somebody that is supposed to die, you will not die. Amen. Oh my goodness. Somebody that you are not supposed to get married, you will get married in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody who married, but it, it has been de designed. You are not going to have children. You will have children because the law will be lifted today. Today is the day to lift embargoes. I don't Amen. know the embargo that Amen. is registered Amen. against your life, Amen. but we are crying for blessed mother now. We are calling on our blessed mother now to intercede for us now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. my Lord. Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let our mother intercede for you. Let our mother help you now. Let our mother stand for you in the name of Jesus. Let our mother begin to intercede so that the Lord shall be lifted now. So that the Lord shall be suspended now. Every power that's against your life, let them be arrested now. Let them be stopped now. Every ancestral voice that is speaking against you, let them be arrested now. Every voice of the dragon that is working against you, let them be destroyed now. And so, for our mother, he is the one of Revelation 2 verse 1, that great son that appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with a son, Master Kayaba, the same son that stood still in the time of Joshua. Mother was clothed with that son, that same woman, that same moon that was standing over the valley of Angelon. And the still stay in the time of Joshua is the moon that was under the feet of our blessed mother. And the stars are around her. She has a crown of 12 stars. Mama is a, a mother general, a woman of 12 stars, a 12 star general. And she is here. And today, Mama is pregnant. Mama, we are here begging you to pray for us. Holy Mother, I to deliver you. Mama, we are here begging you to pray for us. 
Mama, we are here begging you to pray for Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. We love heaven, we love heaven, holy mama. Holy Mary, oh, holy Mary, oh. We love heaven, we love heaven. Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. Queen of heaven, oh queen of angels. Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. Queen of heaven, oh queen of heaven. Holy mother, holy mother. Holy mother, oh mother. Mama, we are here begging you to pray for us. Holy Mary, oh holy Mary. Mama, we are here begging you to intercede for us. Queen <laughs>
And so he prayed that the sun stand still and that the moon stand still. Did the Lord of hosts answer him? <laughs> oh, that is a war going on in your life. There are battles, spiritual battles going on. And we are decreeing today that this fight will not be over until it's over. In the name of Jesus. That the sun will stand still today. That the moon will stand still today. Until there is a victory for you. Child of God, until there is a victory for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. As God paid Israel that visit. And Israel had a victory. So mother is here. God is here. Angels are here. To make sure that we have this divine visitation. To have to make sure that we have this divine victory. <laughs> when the power of God came down, immediately Joshua was launched into the realm of the supernatural. And he grabbed the opportunity to ask for the impossible. Can you imagine somebody praying? Or imagine yourself being with Joshua that day, or with the of Israel. And hearing Joshua praying, Oh, you son, stand still. Oh, you moon, stand still. <laughs> you might think that Joshua has run out of his senses. Because what he was praying for, what he was demanding, was something impossible. How could the sun stop moving? How could the moon stop moving? But I tell you, when you know the power of your God, Daniel 11, verse 32, you will do great exploits. The Lord says that the sun will go keep moving. Geography says that the moon will keep moving. But the supernatural laws of the power of God came down and said, No. Listen to my son, Joshua. And Joshua grabbed that opportunity. When the power of God came down, when the glory of God came down, he grabbed the opportunity and he began to pray for the impossible to be made possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Is somebody remembering that our blessed mother herself says that with God, for with God, all things are possible. Luke 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. This was mother talking. This is the mother that understands that what is impossible can be made possible by God. And it is here for you. Genesis 18, verse 14 says, Is anything too hard for me? Is there anything impossible for the Lord? And the Bible answers in Second Kings 3 verse 18. This is an easy thing in the eyes of God. And Jeremiah 2 verse 17 says, Nothing is too hard for you, O Lord. And Jeremiah 2 verse 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord of all flesh. Nothing is anything, is anything too hard for me? I'm posting that so that you, you answer. Mary is answering the question. Say, God, for with you, all things are possible. Matthew 19 verse 26 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. But with man, it is impossible. Child of God, with you, it is impossible. With the power of God, it is impossible. But you see, with God, it is possible. It's possible. It is possible that an empty pot will fill with wine. It is possible that an empty womb will fill with what replace. I'm telling you things that look impossible. It is impossible that somebody that the, that the doctors have given up in his or her case and have sent the person to, to go and die somewhere, that the person will receive reversal of life and the healing will take place. It's impossible. I like Joshua. He understands how to ask for difficult things. Pray for the sun to stand still. Pray for the moon to stand still. <laughs> These are not jokes. These are serious matters. But I want to draw your attention to the fact that Joshua, where immediately he sensed that 
the glory of God, the power of God has come down. He keyed into the supernatural. He keyed into that moment. He grabbed that opportunity. And he asked for the impossible. Like Joshua. We are going to ask for the impossible. And uh, even like our blessed mother. We are going to ask for the impossible. Because mama asked the son. The one has finished. Where would Jesus go and fetch wine? So definitely, Mary was not expecting Jesus to go and fetch wine and bring. No. No. She knew that her son would do the impossible. For those at the wedding and for you today. That's her job. That's what Mary has come to do for you today. <laughs> so we are going to key into the supernatural now. We are going to pray. For those difficult things in our lives to and to experience supernatural power of God today, you must give Mary something to do. She wants you to pray. She wants you to to pray for her to move because she needs our prayer. Without prayer, what? How can you expect testimonies? Because prayer moves the heart of God. Yeah. There was this priest called of Father Louis Sestak. He died in 1868. He had a vision. And he saw demons spreading all over the earth. Causing unbelievable ravage. But at the same time, he saw Blessed Mother, our Holy Virgin. And he expected the Mother to begin to arrest the demons. After all, Mother is the, the one that crosses the head of the serpent. Okay? Not even fully aware that Mother is the Queen of the Angels. He wanted Mama to move. <laughs> because Mama is a good mother. But Mama did not move. Mama did not move. <laughs> and then he now asked, Mama, my mother, you are so good. Could you not send these demons without someone having to ask? Could you not send them Without our having to ask. I know what the mother said. <laughs> Prayer, my son, is a condition set by God himself in order to obtain graces. Then he now responded and said, Well then, my mother, would you teach me yourself how we must pray to you? And it was from there that he was giving a powerful prayer that Mary herself detected. And this prayer is called Mary the August Queen. August Queen of Heavens. And for you to say that, that the Spirit is one, I have never in my life <laughs> ever seen where Mary was called the Queen of the August Queen. Neither have I heard of any prayer called Prayer of Mary, the August Queen. And yet, this first Saturday devotion, the inspiration I got was to declare it the August Queen. You see how, how God works? And it dawned on me that for mother to reveal that this is what she wants, that she wants to be an August queen, it means she wants to do something extraordinary. She wants to bring special grace into somebody's life. She wants to touch the life of her children as an August queen. 
Jesus. And so at this hour, I'm going to invite us to pray alongside with me the prayer of the August Queen. This was the prayer revealed to Father Louis Sestak. And this prayer has been used by exorcists to cast out demons from people. Because our mother is very powerful. She has expertise <laughs> in crushing the head of the serpent. A few days ago, I was praying over somebody, uh, praying over somebody over the phone. And the spirit in her began to speak. I said, walk away. Please, we're not disturbing you. Don't disturb us. Leave us. We didn't come after you. You're not troubling us. Leave us. Now, and I'm sharing this with you because I now ask the, the demon, do you know about Virgin Mary? <laughs> you need to see the reaction. <laughs> it's sweet to see the power of Mary in action. You need to see the reaction. Please, don't call her. Don't call her. Don't call her. You see them pleading. Because they understand what happens when she comes down. <laughs> so, Jesus. It's God minister to somebody tonight. When mama is in action, when mama is for you, when mama stands for you, you are blessed. You cannot be put to shame. Amen. <laughs> so now whatever place you are I invite you to pray alongside with me the prayer of Mary the august queen of heaven and as we make this prayer we are going to experience the power of God in action we are going to experience the anointing of power of God in action. Because our mother Mary will be interceding and using this prayer to crush demonic forces, demonic enterprise, anywhere they are. And so you pray alongside with me. August Queen of the Heavens. August Queen of Heaven. Heavenly Sovereign of the Angels. Heavenly Sovereign of the Angels. Thou who from the beginning Thou who from the beginning received from God the power and the mission received from God the power and the mission to cross the head of the serpent to cross the head of the serpent We humbly beseech thee. We humbly beseech thee. To send your holy legions. To send your holy legions. So that under thy holy command. So that under thy holy command. And through thy power. And through thy power. They may pursue the demons. They may pursue the demons. And combat them everywhere. And contact them everywhere. Suppress their boldness. Suppress their boldness. And drive them back into the abbeys. And drive them back into the abbeys. Who is like God? Who is my God? Oh, good and tender mother. Oh, good and tender mother. Thou will always be our love and hope. Thou will always be our love and hope. Oh, divine mother. Oh, uh -huh. divine mother. Send thy holy angels. Send thy holy angels. 
to defend me and to drive far away from me. To defend me and to drive far away from me. The cruel enemy. The cruel enemy. Holy angels and archangels. Holy angels and archangels. Defend us and guide us. Defend us and guide us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen, and amen. Amen. My dear friends, having invited our Blessed Mother, the August Queen, through this prayer, we are asking her to get into our houses, our lives, and the people, every raging enemy. May she arrest all the powers that have come to arrest you and your family. Amen. Amen. Mama, the hour has come. You are the queen assumed into heaven. You are the queen of the angels and the saints. You are the queen concealed that sin. Blessed Mother, even now we pray that through your intercession, may we be delivered from the power of sin. Amen. Every door in our lives that is open through sin, we ask you, O oh Queen, to obtain for us the mercy of God. Hail Jesus. Amen. Blessed Mother, in this August visitation, in which you are our August Queen, we ask you to make this first a devotion. A devotion with extraordinary grace. Amen. Let something that will cause somebody to be celebrated to, to happen today. Amen. Mama, grant that I will receive the favor of God. Every blessing that belongs to your people, that belongs to my life, that has not manifested. Mama, let such prophecy, such blessings be fulfilled. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Mama, stand for us. Destroy the spirit of affliction. Every spirit that is battering our bodies, Mama, visit us and attack them. Amen. By your visitation, turn away every captivity of Zion. Amen. Let the Prayer brings forth manifestation of the glory of your son in the life of your children. Let Amen. the atmosphere become the atmosphere of miracles. Amen. Hell, Mama, we understand from, from Scripture that any time heaven comes down to visit people, that challenges and problems will turn into testimonies. Amen. Now that you are here, and the heaven is here completely in their fullness. We ask you, Mama, let all the challenges we are going through, all those problems, let all them turn into testimony today. Amen. Let them turn into testimony today. Can some begin to pray? Pray that they shall turn into testimonies. All the problems you are going through, you know them. Talk to the, our Blessed Mother. Let those problems, those obstacles, let all of them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let all of them become your Amen. testimony. The hour Amen. of that testimony has come. A time for the world to witness your testimony has come. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every legal ground against you. Today they are suspended. Today they are arrested. Mama is here interceding. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Pray and talk to your mother. Ask her to wipe your tears. Mama, do something. Mama, do something. Ask her to wipe your tears. Ask her to wipe your evil report. Every evil report that is so nice. Let them be washed away. Mama, wipe away all evil reports. Every evil report that is so nice. Every evil report against my health, 
In our families, we do something. Oh, of us, we do something. Oh, in our families. Amen, amen, amen. Mama, Mama, Mother Mary, oh, Mother Mary, oh, Mama, pray for us. Mama, Mama, Mother Mary, oh, my Mother Mary, oh, intercede for us. Mama, Mama, our Mother Mary, oh, our Mother Mary, oh, Mama, pray for us, oh. Mama, Mama, our Mother Mary, oh, our Mother Mary, oh, Mama, pray for us. Mama, Mama, oh. I am not a baby, oh, I am not a baby, oh, we are 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 not a baby, For us to understand the mystical essence of this meeting, and I want to share a story of a widow who was very disturbed. by the lifestyle of one of her sons. This child, this her son was breaking her heart, living a very ungodly life, always drinking to stupor, partying all the time, never focusing in life, engaging drugs, She had talked to her son, but the son would not listen. And she wished that her husband were alive so that the husband could not be able to talk to the son. Having done everything she could do without getting results. She now went to her parish priest and poured her heart to her parish priest. And her parish priest told her to do something which is going to be 
the reason why I'm telling you this story, what the parish priest told her to do. The parish priest told her, you are going to invite the Holy Spirit. And what you are going to do is that you are going to invite the Holy Spirit in a special way. You are going to entertain the Holy Spirit. So you have to call your children and tell them that there is an August visitor. And this August visitor is coming from heaven. And we have to entertain this August visitor. And this August visitor is Holy Spirit. And so this woman went to the house, shared this with her family. <laughs> And so they bought drinks, prepared some food. In their mind, they conditioned themselves that they were going to experience Holy Spirit coming. They brought, cleaned everywhere in the house. Set the table, put the food and drinks, and uh, put a seat. And they said, This seat is a seat for the visitor. And so they began to pray, starting with, Come, Holy Spirit, and fill the heart of the faithful. And you know what? You see, when we make that prayer, we don't usually see what happens. But I want to tell you what happens today. The Holy Spirit comes down. You see, one problem we have is that we usually see the Holy Spirit as a spirit, as a dove, or fire, or breeze. But we forget that these are the forms of manifestations of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person, the third person of the triune God. Remember that man. How many times have we prayed for the gift of the Holy Spirit and we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? Yet, in our mind, he's a wind. <laughs> and so, for this woman and the family to be able to entertain the Holy Spirit, prepare a seat and the Keep everywhere clean. It means they have to go beyond seeing him as a wind. They have to see him as a person. Because only a person you can, you can entertain. <laughs> Jesus! And so, they now welcome the Holy Spirit. And they told the Holy Spirit to have his seat. And told the Holy Spirit to have cola. <laughs> they have come with this entertainment. This is our food. You see, we know that God don't really eat food. And if he does, we, we can't really satisfy him with our food. Because even the thousands of rams in the wilderness, all of them belong to God. And he could kill any of them. Yet, this woman was, and the children, they were thinking naturally. And they said, this is the food we have, please. Our God's visitor, eat this food. Accept us the way you see us. We know, we know, we know that we're not worried to have you here. That this house could not even contain you. We're not even qualified enough, clean enough to have you here. But since I please you to come because of sinners and to come and help us to be like Jesus, you are welcome. We appreciate you. So in their mind, they imagine him sitting down. 
This is the work of faith. This is the faith in action. We are going to learn something from this story. Amen. Hell. <laughs> And so when they felt that the Holy Spirit had finished eating the food and uh, have taken the drinks, in their mind they imagined it. And so they left. It, this thing happened in the night. So they left it like that and slept and went to their beds and slept. Now in this fellowship with the Holy Spirit, that son that was very rebellious was not there in the house. Of course, he went to party. He came back in the night drunk. So he opened the door and went to his own room. Later in the night, he came to his mother's door and began to knock. And the mother was so angry that the mother didn't even want to talk to him. So he, he went back to his room. The next day, He came to the mother. The mother was angry. Mama was not in the state of disposition to even talk with him. And his siblings were not happy with him. But when he saw his mother in the morning, he said, Mama, who came to our house? The mother thought that he was, he was asking that question because he saw drinks on the table and uh, some preparations, places kept neat and the seats decorated. That was the, what the mother believed he saw and was asking. The mother did not even want to respond to him. The siblings were not even helping matters. He went out again, came back in the night, and was still asking the mother, who came to our house? Nobody could provide an answer. Third day, he was furious. Very, very furious. Mama, who is this person that came to our house? I need to know who is this person that came to our house. Mama was forced to tell him, look, what's your problem? What's the problem? Say, look, Mama, I don't know the person that you people brought into this house that is taking away everything that I have in my room. That was when the mother looked at him again, wondering what he was talking about. What did the mother did not know? was that what she prayed with her children, God answered it that way. When this boy came, that first day they made the prayer. <laughs> he saw a man, huge, wearing white, sitting on the seat that was decorated. And when this boy entered into his room, this man opened the door without knocking, just came in. <laughs> and he was wondering who the visitor came to my house without knocking. And uh, this visitor will take some things the boy kept in the house that were not glorifying God. Taking away the drugs, taking away the all the stuff, what the bad things, I don't want to mention all of them here. Some of them we are hidden. He will go there, open the drawer, pull that one out and take it and go. And he could not even ask questions. He was just wondering, what kind of woman behind this ghost to come to my house and be taking this away? He couldn't even go and confront the man. This happened the first day. Second day. By third day, he had taken out everything he had that was not supposed to be in his possession. And if funny enough, when he comes out, he will still see this man sitting down. The man will still be sitting down, not talking. The man will just there. So when he, on the third day, he couldn't take it again. 
He now confronted the mother. He said, who is this man that came to our house that refuses to go? He asked that question also. And the mother asked him, which person came to our house and refused to go? She looked at this man. And look at this man that you people brought. Where did he come from? That was when the story changed. And the mother now come to understand that the son was seeing something that she was not seeing. The mother looked at the, at the visitor's seat. Nobody was sitting down there. But this child was seeing the man. Say, look at him now. Look at him. Mama could not see. The other people in the house could not see. The person that he was talking, talking about. As this was happening, the power of God came down. And delivered him. Right there. Amen. Amen, amen. And they, from that day, he fought. He became a new person. Instant deliverance. Situation changed. The atmosphere in the house changed. No more headache. He was amen. no more giving the mother headache again. Instant healing. Instant deliverance. Amen. Why? Because an August visitor came. You see, this story... I don't want to start talking about Abraham. We we'll talked about Abraham anyway. We we'll talked about Mary visiting Elizabeth. We we'll talked about um, God visiting his people. Even how Jesus and Mary came to the wedding at Canaan. These are visitations in the Bible. Even God visiting Jacob. These are all visitations. Even all, so many visitations that took place in the Bible. But you know, one thing I have seen in ministry is that we live in a generation that will doubt the story of the Bible. How many times have I referenced the scriptural uh, events and people are asked, we're doubting the scripture. How do you think this, this thing happened? How can water turn to wine? Because somebody prayed. Can it happen? <laughs> Jesus. But then, this very story is not a chapter in the Bible. This is a story of one of us. A story of a child of God. This is a story that God has given to us so that we know not only that the Holy Spirit is a person, is a being, has a substance, is touch touchable, you can touch him. He speaks, he directs, he loves. Not only that, but that our blessed mother, the August Queen, is also real. She is not a spirit. Mother Mary is not a spirit. Just like the Holy Spirit <laughs> is a person. Mary is a person. Alright? If I, this story I shared about the Holy Spirit, the woman that prayed the prayer of the Holy Spirit and and the son was converted. Um, is, is a story you find in a book uh, written by Reverend Father George Nze Moaba. And the title of the book is The Holy Spirit is Your Greatest Friend. A very interesting book. The Holy Spirit is Your Greatest Friend. <laughs> and then can you remove the, the Holy Spirit and put Mary? It will now be the, the mother of God, Mary, is your greatest friend, your greatest mother, your loving mother, mm -hmm. your mother general, your august queen. Amen. Now look at how the story of this woman changed completely. Because an august visitor visited her. 
And they, this was made possible because she had to see in her mind the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, we are going to replace the Holy Spirit with the Blessed Mother in this prayer. In this story. And tell me how the story would look like. Come on, can somebody help me? The story will become that Mary, the mother of Jesus, comes to your house as an august visitor, coming as a queen, because she's a queen, so she's an august queen. And we are going to entertain her. <laughs> are you ready to entertain Mary tonight? Yes. We are going to prepare a table for her. Mama, this is what I have. You prepare a seat for her. <laughs> Hello! Jesus. And somebody may be asking, oh, brother, you have told us on time so that I can get the best drinks and get the, uh, the best food and prepare. Uh, you know, and then prepare my, my, my seat, a, a, a great seat. Even I can go and buy a new seat for a blessed mother, a befitting one. Give her a, a seat that is befitting of a, of a queen. But let me tell you something. She doesn't really need that drink, that cook, that fanta. No, she doesn't really need it. She doesn't really need that food you're going to cook. She doesn't really need that seat. Because whatever seat they are going to give her anyway, it is inferior <laughs> to the one that she has as a queen in heaven anyway. But the food of our blessed mother, the drink of our blessed mother, is the rosary. Amen. If you give her the rosary, hey, you have given her everything. Everything. Oh, brother, okay. So simple. Sure. Sure. If you give mama, our special mama, the rosary. Hey, yeah, yeah. Mama will beautify your life. She will make you beautiful. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you know that the rose flower is considered the most beautiful flower on earth? In fact, the queen of the flowers is the rose, is the rose, rose flower. That rose flower, you know, is the queen of flowers. The queen of all flowers. <laughs> Jesus, that fragile looking flower is, it, it, it carries the glory of power, of magnificence. Now let me tell you something. Mary herself is the masterpiece of God's creation. Amen. A queen of exquisite magnificence. Amen. Always put your mind into the magnificence of the rose flower. And at the end of this, my explanation, you understand why she chose the rose as the most, the best food or drink you could ever give to Mary. Now, Mary is not a flower. Mary is a person of being. But if Mary were a flower, if Mary were a flower, 
would anyone doubt that she would be the queen of them all, the queen of the flowers, right? If we consider the saints of God as the spiritual flowers, then, my dear friends, Mary is the queen of all the spiritual flowers that ever sprung up on earth. Every saint is a spiritual flower. Every saint. And Mary is the queen of all the spiritual flowers. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so you can imagine a garden in heaven. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. A garden in heaven that grows a flower. Mr. Kuru's. You know why we call Mary Mr. Kuru's? This is the reason. The spiritual rules. The beautiful rules. <laughs> Do you know that when you are praying the rosary, you are offering to Mary heaven's banquet of rose flowers. Spiritually, mystically, what is coming out, what is spewing out, are rose flowers, different colors, some red. That this prayer that um, this novena is called 54 day novena to our blessed mother. You have 27 days of of uh, of, of uh, petitioning and all that, and the 27 days of uh, thanksgiving. And then in each of these case, you you offer Mary, you know, re, uh, um, red roses. And the white roses, as the case may be. Okay? <laughs> if you look at the rose flower, it carries a nectar. A nectar. The insects, they like it a lot. The bees, they like it a lot. And that attracts them and helps in pollination. Could you describe a flower, a mystical rose that carries divine nectar? When you are praying the rosary, you are receiving divine nectar, the peace of heaven. <laughs> And so Mary, therefore, is the most beautiful flower ever seen in the spiritual world. And therefore, she is called the Ruse. The Ruse. The mystical Ruse. She is the mystical Ruse in God's garden. This August visitor that we have today. And we're asking her that since we have offered her roses every day in this ministry for 365 days of the year, we are offering Blessed Mother rose flowers through our rosary prayers. So we ask her to gather the nectars, the nectars, that sweet, sweet um, liquid in the, in the, in the flower. We ask him to gather the nectars in those flowers and put them into our lives so that our lives will be sweet again. Amen. We ask him to harvest even the fragrance. Those sweet, appealing, magnetic fragrance associated with the flowers. With the rose flowers, we ask her to harvest them and bring them into us and include us with rose, with her fragrance. Amen. Somebody is going to be decorated with rose flower today. Somebody is going to wear the garment of rose flowers. Because Mama has come today Amen. with the back weight of the rose flowers that you have, we have been offering her in this ministry. And we're asking her in this prayer 
that as the Holy Spirit accepted the offering of that woman and her family and used it to turn things around, may our blessed mother consider all the rosary prayers we have made this ministry since the inception of this ministry for years. May all of them be gathered today and be a banquet on the table of our blessed mother. Amen. We offer the rosary prayers for her. We don't have time to pray that rosary now. But since this prayer has been going on every day in this ministry, we ask Mama to consider them as food for today's, <laughs> for today's banquet. Hell! Giving Mary the rosary is to make her happy. The rosary is Our Lady's precious rose. <laughs> precious rose. She, she, she doesn't joke with rose flower. Even that, even the word rosary actually means the garden of rose. Do you know that? That's actually what it means. The garden of rose. Rose flower. When you are praying the rosary, you are translated into this mystical garden. And you offer Mary roses. You may remember about uh, St. Uh, Joan, Joan Diego, uh, when Mary appeared to, uh, to him and, and, and gave him a message to the bishop. I don't have time to go through all that. But we know that the bishop was skeptical and told him, look, if that woman, if you see her again, tell her to give you a sign. That will make me believe that she is Mary, the mother of Jesus. And you know the sign that Mary gave <laughs> John Diego? The rose. Mm -hmm. It was only a season of roses to grow. But, but Mary gathered some roses and gave it to him to give to the bishop. Roses that left an imprint of our blessed mother. They, 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 they uh, the uh, the queen, our lady of Guadalupe, Rosary. Can you imagine the nectars, the divine nectars in the rosary we have offered this minute being put in a chalice? Can you imagine that? Now, but let me tell you something. In this very occasion, in this banquet, there is a cup of drink that is filled to the brim with the divine nectar from the roses. And you are going to drink yours, and I will drink mine. May our blessed mother give us a chalice of divine nectar that we shall drink. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, a friend was telling me sometime that I come from a country where people like to party. They don't go to church. They, they, religion, faith, uh, you know, is not, uh, prayer life is not something too common. And these days things are changing though. <laughs> and he told me that he wanted to invite them to this ministry. And the only thing he could do was to organize a party in his house. And say, come, come, and if I want to party, come and drink, come and drink. I have every sort of assorted drinks. And that was how people came. And they began to tell them about the ministry. He said, brother, if I had told them to come for fellowship, they won't come. He said, these people, he said, and I want to quote him, Brother, if you put $10,000 check, $1 million check in the, in the Bible and give it to them, in the next 10 years, that, that check will still be there because they won't open the Bible. I say this because Mary cannot withstand the presence of rose flowers. 
which is given to her through the rosary. So when you bring your petitions, and I imagine you putting your petitions inside the, the rose flower. Put your petition inside the rose flower. Mary will take it. She will take it. She will offer them to her son. <laughs> Jesus. And so even as we have come to the point of prayer, we are asking our Blessed Mother at this time of banquet because she is the August Queen, August Visitor, and we have offered on this mystical table the rose flowers offered in the prayers of this ministry. And then we are asking Mama to sit down. So now I invite you in your mind, whatever place you are, Imagine Mary standing beside you. Now she needs a seat. It is not fair to keep a, a queen, a heavenly queen for that matter, to keep standing. So give her a seat. But what is the seat she needs? The seat she needs is our heart. The seat she needs to sit down is our heart. The food she needs is our rosary. So, at this point in time, I invite you to get ready to entertain your mother. Ay, 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 ay. Get ready to entertain mother your mother. Mother has come here to take over. Oh! She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take control. She has come here to take control. Our mother has come here to take over. Mama is here. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to lead me. She has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. Our mother Mary has come here to take control. She has come here to lead in Allah. She has come here to help us now. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our queen to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take control. She has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Mama has so come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take control. She has come here to take control. Our mother has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. Mama is like a mother. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to cross the devil. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to do the battle. She has come here to take over. Mama has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take over. Our queen has come here to take over. Our mother has come now to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take control. She has come here to take over. We come here to take over. She has come here to take over. She has come here to take over. She has come here to fight our battle. She has come here to take over. She has come here to do her work. She has come here to take over. 
Our mother has come here to take oh. over. Mother Mary has Mama, come I'm here to, to take over. Our queen has come here 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 to take over. Our queen is here now to take over. Our queen is here now to take over. 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 She is my king. She is my mother. I give myself entirely to you. I to show my devotion to you. I confess it to you. This day, my eyes, my ears, my mouth. My whole being is not the sound. Therefore, we are born, good mother. As I am thy own, give me to take control. Our mother has come here to take control. Our mother has come here to crush the devil. Our mother has come here to fight our battle. Our mother has come here to destroy the money. Our mother has come here to take over. Our mother has come here to take over. Mother Mary has come here to take control. Mama has come here to take over. We have broken the bread of earth. The battle alarm sounds in heaven. For angelic bodies to, to, to be deployed, to carry the bodies, 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 to you have heard the story of that sister that gathered her family and talked to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. She just believed what the priest said. And she applied it. She had not heard that story before. But she believed the direction of the priest. And she implemented it and she got results. Now, you have a reference to believe. The story of that sister is a reference for you. So you are not the first. We are not the first to do this prayer, to do this spiritual exercise. Now that you have a reference, is that not enough to boost your faith that Mary is real? Have you given her a deceit? Have you asked her to reign on that magnificent seat? Let the effluence of, of her queenship reign in our lives, in our hearts. Do you believe that? Don't you know that Mary is a spouse of the Holy Spirit? Talk to her now. Talk to her now. Talk to her now. Whatever you know you are going through, this is a time of petitions. That woman had her own petitions, and she got the results. For that woman, her problem, her headache was her son. I don't know what, which one is your, he- your headache. Maybe your son, maybe your daughter, maybe your children, maybe your husband, your spouse, maybe your boss in the office, maybe your health, maybe you want to be a mother, like others. I just don't know which one is troubling you. But now, Mama wants to trouble the troubler. Mama wants to Trouble the trouble of your life. Crush them. Virgin Mary, crush them. Yes. Crush them. Virgin Mary, crush them. All the troubles around us. Crush them and send them to fall. All the demons around us. Crush them and send them to fall. All the Satan is the commander of the angels. Call them and send them to fire. All the warring Mary is the commander of angels. Cross them, Mother Mary, cross them. A tender warrior. Cross them, Mama. Cross them. All the demons around us. Cross them and send them to fire. All the demons around us. Cross them and send them to fire. All the demons around us. Cross them and send them to fire. All the demons around us. Cross them and send them to fire. All the Satan's around us. Cross them and send them to fire. Welcome to your home. 
Why them and set them to fire? Why the All the failures around. Call them, call them and set them to fire. All the failures around us. Call them and send them to fire. It's a process around us. Call them and send them to fire. Where the matter is, I go. The devil does not enter. Where there is the order, the stubborn cannot them. prevail. Cross them, oh. Legendary crush them. Crush them. More than they will crush them. All the demons are on us. Crush them and send them to fire. All the demons are on us. Call them and set them to fire. All the demons are under us. Call them and set them to fire. All the demons are under us. Call them and set them to fire. All the destiny destroyers. Call them and set them to fire. All the demons are in demons. Call them and set them to fire. Every projection around us. Call them and set them to fire. Every initiation around us. Cause them and send them to fire. I want to, to leave you with the truth. I have learned in the cause of ministry. Call them and send them to fire. Call them and send them to fire. Call them and send them to fire. Cross them and send them. And one of the ways to stop the devil is by developing a close relationship with the blessed man Mary. Cross them and send them to fire. Now let me tell you, the devil hates her, and the devil also hates those. The devil hates those who run to Mary. Let me tell you something, my dear children of God. There's a, myst- a mystery I want to sh- reveal to you. The mystery is not that the devil hates Mary. We all know that. But the mystery is that the devil hates you when you run to Mary. <laughs> when the devil understands that you have a relationship with mama, automatically he hates you. Because he knows that he can't touch you. Because you are with mama. So the devil runs away from those who are close to Mary. This is one thing I have learned in ministry. Is what I'm sharing with you now. You may not see it in the Bible written this way, but I'm telling you my own experience in ministry is that the devil fears those who are very close to Mary. Amen. You know how many times Amen. that grace has been granted me to cast out demons through the power of the rosary? Do you know how many times? <laughs> The rosary is a simple way to be close to our blessed mother. Is somebody listening? Our mother is here. <laughs> Through the rosary, we hold her tender, tender hands. Are you still talking to your mother? <laughs> Jesus. A woman who, in her assumption, she f- fell asleep. You see, the best way to describe the death of Mary is falling asleep. The, the death of saints are described as falling asleep. Mary, at her death, fell asleep and woke up in heaven. That's the way I would describe assumption. Mary slept <laughs> and then woke up in heaven. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I pray that today that the favor of this woman will locate you. May she intercede for Amen. you. Amen. Hell, Jesus. Blessed mother, you are too much. Do you know that Mary is a God's battle plan? God's battle plan. This is our ble- wonderful mother. <laughs> it's God's battle plan. Many of you may hear the testimony of Bishop Oliver uh, Dashe Dome, a bishop of, I uh, believe, Medugri Diocese in Nigeria. And uh, our Lord Jesus 
appeared to him where he was praying in his uh, chapel. Okay? And they revealed to him that the rosary is a, is a sword to destroy the Boko Haram, the, the militant uh, Muslim terrorism. And mother is here to tell you tonight, hold firm the rosary. All the machinations of the evil one, all the tricks and tactics of the devil, we are commanding them to scatter. Satanic institutions, Amen. satanic powers, anywhere they are, let them be destroyed. Power Amen. that are sponsoring abortion in the land, blood sucking spirits, let our mother attack them tonight in the name of Amen. Jesus. Through this Amen. prayer, let the devil suffer catastrophe in the name of Amen. Jesus. Let our Amen. mother fight for you. Oh, Jesus. Every gang up against your life, let our mother frustrate them. Let our mother Amen. frustrate them in the name of Amen. Jesus. Let our mother Amen. frustrate them. I don't know the power that I'm using against you to frustrate you, but my mind is here to frustrate them because she's your mother. She's interceding for you. Oh, Masha Kayaba. It's us. Let somebody pray now. Let somebody pray now. Mama is here for you. Mama is here for you. We are asking the Holy Spirit to prepare our hearts. Let our heart be prepared so that our mother will be enthroned for in our heart as the queen. Let the Holy Spirit prepare our heart tonight in a way that mother will be the queen of our heart. Do you know that Mary is the queen of all hearts? She is the queen of all hearts. In fact, as Fatima, Mother Mary stated that her immaculate heart will triumph at the end. <laughs> Hell! So because we are seeing Mary as real, it is one of the things we need to learn from the story I shared with you concerning this woman that invited the Holy Spirit with her family and gave the Holy Spirit a seat and got her testimony. One thing we must learn from that story is that we must be seeing Mary as real. Not as a mother who is far away in heaven. Yes, she's in heaven, but she's also with you. She's with me. We have to conceptualize it to be real. Bring it home. Okay? Don't keep her away, far away in your mind. Oh, she's far away. No, she has, as a woman that is with you, as your mother. Sometimes we invite her with rosary without really believing she's there. Can you imagine? Even in the story I shared with you, the woman actually went through those things, but she was surprised when she discovered that the Holy Spirit actually was there as a being, as a person. She was surprised. Sometimes people know about Mary, just like we know about the Holy Spirit, but we do not know her. Sometimes we do not know her. There's a difference between knowing about somebody and knowing that person. If you don't know someone, you how can you recognize the person? So we let us begin to see her as real. When you see her as real, then you experience what is called person to person relationship with Mary. And we should interact with her as if we were um, seeing her physically, as if we were dialing or calling her with our phone. Jesus. Our blessed mother, we appreciate you for the love that you have for us. Mama, we love you. What you have done in the course of this prayer is amazing. And your children are rejoicing. You have shown yourself our queen and our mother. And we are here to say thank you. Thank you. Tell Jesus. Amen. We offer this song in, in appreciation of what you are doing. Mm. Jesus. Yes. Yes. We offer our songs to you, Mama. We offer our songs 
even now. Oh, blessed mother, that through this song, may your power, the power of your soul flow as you intercede for us. Make our life a life of song, a life of melody. Jesus. Jesus. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Makaya base keribu sharaba. Receive that joyful mystery. Receive that joyful mystery. The power of God is here. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. Ask her to make your life a life of songs. A life of songs. Something will happen when Mary is dancing for us. Something will happen when Mary is dancing for us. Miracle will flow when Mary does it for us. Our breakthrough will come when Mary does it for us. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. Something we open when Mary does it for us. Our miracle we flow when Mary does it for us. Our breakthrough we come when Mary does it for us. Our favor is here when Mary does it for us. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. We call her our mother. We call her our queen. Something will happen when Mary intercedes for us. Jesus! Something happens. In fact, something must happen when Mary intercedes. It's not that something may happen. Something is a must. If you don't know that, know that today. Something must happen when she intercedes. She's interceding for you. So, child of God, don't fear. Mary is here for us, and she is here to strengthen us, and she is here to fight our battles. And so at this hour, for that place you are, I invite you to begin to thank her for being here, for being our God's visitor, for making sure that we receive the favor of God today, for being our greatest mom, our greatest friend, Oh, Jesus. Mama Mary, oh, has opened Ooh. the way through That's her true. intercession. She has opened the way. I Our believe mother, you believe oh, has opened the door through the I, I, intercession. Yeah. She has opened the door. Our uh -huh. other queen has opened our way through her intercession. She has opened our way. Mother Mary oh, has opened our way through her intercession. She has opened our way. Mama Mary, oh, she has opened our door through her intercession. She has opened our door. Mama Maria, she has opened our way. Through yes, her intercession, she has opened our way. Our August Queen has opened our doors. Through her uh -huh. intercession, she has opened our doors. Our ways are open. Our doors are open. Our miracles right. are here now. Our miracles are here. Our testimonies are here. Our testimonies are here. Our breakthroughs are here now. Our breakthroughs are here. Our blessings are here now. Our blessings are here because Mama Maria has opened the door through her yes, intercession. She has opened the door. Mama Maria has opened the way through her intercession. She has opened the way. Our August Queen has opened the door through her intercession. She has opened the door. Our doors are open. Our ways are open. Our miracles are sure now. Our miracles are sure. Our testimonies are sure. Our testimonies are sure. Our breakthroughs are here now. 
or break you down here. The barren wounds are open. The barren wounds are open. Our testimonies are sure. Our testimonies are sure. Our miracles are here now. Our blessings are here because Mama Maria has opened the way through her intercession. She has opened the door. I like that. I like that. Through her intercession, she has opened the door. She has crushed the demon. She has destroyed the Satan. She has opened our door. Our ways are open. Our miracles right. are here. Our testimonies are here. Our favors are here. Our breakthroughs are here. We are walking That's in right. dominion. We are walking in dominion. We are dancing in dominion. We are dancing in dominion because our mother Mary has opened the way through her intercession. She has opened the way. Our August Queen has opened the door through her intercession. She has opened the door. Our August Visitor has opened the door through her intercession. She has opened the door. Our way is through. Open. Our miracles are here. Our testimonies are here. Our blessings are here. Our ways are open. Our doors are open. Our troubles are over. Our sorrows are over. Our pains are over. Our pains are over. We are blessed today. We are blessed today because our
She has opened the door. Mama Maria has opened the door. She 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 has opened the door. Somebody
That is the way we are defaulting it. Hell! So in this first Saturday devotion, we are thanking our blessed mother for opening the doors of heaven for us to experience God's favor. Amen. Her wing is carrying us. It will never occur to me that Mary has wings. This woman, we are yet to understand the fullness of her power. The other day, she just carried me. And something like a wing. And it's not a wing like that of a bed. But that's what was like, you know, if you think of the, 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 the garment that Mary wears, this, this is her overrunning garment. The garment she, she wears that covers her up. You know, she was just moving. And that garment was now flowing in the air. You know how something flows, like if you wear a, a scarf in, and they are running, you know how it, it uh, flies in the air. That her overflowing garment was flying. And that became like a, her wing. And for some reason, I just found myself in her wing. And she was carrying me. <laughs> But that tells me that Mary is carrying somebody through this prayer to a place of safety. Mm -hmm. Carrying you through all circles. It doesn't matter whether there is a river that is above you. In fact, when she carried me, in the spirit it was like hours was still moving. Moving. And I couldn't see the end of an expanse of ocean. The ocean, I couldn't see the end. I was talking to him, I'm still remembering that vision. I couldn't see the end of the ocean. I couldn't see the end. And it was like hours. And she was carrying me. Okay? And until she brought me to a place of safety. <laughs> you see the way I, 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 I held her, eh? <laughs> if you see the way, the way, you know, children, how they behave. These little, little babies, you know. If there's something that frightens them, they run to their mother and grab. That was how brother could behave like a baby. You need to see how I behave when I'm around this woman. Uh, you, this man called Brother Okwe, you don't know that he's a baby. Oh. I just grabbed her head her tight. She told me, son, don't worry, don't worry. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Nothing will happen. Amen, man, amen. amen. So in this amen. prayer... Somebody is hugging Mary in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody is hugging Mama to bless you. The church understands Mary as an August queen. And so even in the month of August, the church recognizes our blessed mother as queen. So in August 2nd, we have the feast of blessed mother as the queen of angels you see that so if she is <laughs> your august queen and if you agree with me that every month of the year will become august continuously can you imagine having 12 august in a year <laughs> and the mama mary <laughs> this is this is a marian calendar and this is a new calendar we're talking about now a calendar that even when the world is, is they are having their own different modes, we are now defaulted. You know, you can set the computer to behave in a certain way. You are now programmed to have Marian month every month. It is August Queen Christian. And meaning that she will come with her angels every month to bless you, to be with you. So August 2nd is the Queen of Angels. August 15th. The feast of assumption of the most blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. Hey! Can you imagine that? And you are talking about August Queen. You know? So when we agree here that every month we become our month of August, it is something serious. Assumption. Mary died. She could not decay. Angels came and carried it. They said, no, no, this is our queen. She cannot give us Jesus who could not be trapped in the grave to decay. Why would the mother decay? The one that gave Jesus the flesh. 
And so she was now taken up to heaven. Meaning that in every month of your mythical August, you cannot be trapped in the grave. You cannot be trapped in a, in a spirit of corruption. What to destroy yeah. others will not destroy you. Yeah. Plague will come. You will not see them. They will not see you. Yeah. Death came to kill me, to destroy Mary. To even to make Magos wanted to no 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 Magos could not eat her flesh because she was no more there. He said, I tell you this night, this month, any spiritual matters, demon that suck blood. If they come to you, they shall not see you, they shall not eat of your flesh, because you will not be where they will see you. Amen. As many was not in the grave, so you will not be in that grave. You will not be in that place. The enemies are set up for you. Amen, Amen. Madam. Amen. Amen. So you will enjoy the feast of assumption. Mm. Mary was assumed. All of us assumed with her. Her children assumed with her. Her clients. Mary has clients. She assumed with her clients. Beyond the reach of the evil ones. Assumption. Jesus. Oh! Somebody is taking a name tonight. The name of Assumption. Meaning that when the enemy is a plan to destroy you, her angels will come under the instruction of their queen to come and carry you up. Don't forget that Mary was carried body and soul by the angels. Satanic forces will come, the angels of God will carry you up. So you can bear the name Azamta, can be your name also. Because of the anointing of assumption. Masse Kiribu Shende. August 22. The feast of the queenship of our blessed mother. There must be something unique about this August. So we are happy that we are making it our own month. Every month. 12 August in a year. If someone asks you, how many months do you have in a year? 12 months. And name them. August, 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 you just continue until you name 12. 12 for the 12 tribes of Israel. 12 for the 12 stars on our blessed mother of Revelation 12 verse 1. Jesus, child of God, may God bless you. May you be celebrated in the name of Jesus. May he be well with you. Jesus, Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Rabu Sharaba. Yes, 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 yes. We have an August anthem for our mother. Anywhere you are now, stand up. We have an August anthem. Mama is deserving of an August anthem. And anywhere you are now, get ready for the August anthem. Even if you cannot stand, you can, in your mind, you see yourself standing. Just make sure you are standing, physically or mystically. I am standing up. Hey, we God. are here, glad to come to the, to the throne of grace. Because we have our mother Mary as our August queen. Not so. We are glad to come to the, to the throne of mercy. Because we have our Mother Mary as our August Queen. Our August Queen, our Mother Mary, our August Queen. Our August Queen, our Mother Mary, our August Queen. Our August Queen, our Mother Mary, our August Queen. Our August Queen, our Mother Mary, our August Queen. We are glad to come to the to receive our blessing. I'm to the mother. Because we have our mother Mary as our August Queen. This we are glad to come to the to receive our faith. We have our mother Mary as our August Queen. Our August Queen, our mother Mary, oh the August Queen. The August Queen, our mother Mary, oh the August Queen. The August Queen, the Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, the Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. The August Queen, the Mother Mary, oh, the August Queen. 
The organ queen, I want to marry you. The organ queen, oh. The organ yes, queen, I want to marry you. The organ queen. The organ queen, I want to marry you. The organ queen. The organ queen, I want to marry you. The organ queen, oh. The organ queen, I want to marry you. The organ queen. You are the August Queen, the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. Oh. You are the August Queen, the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. She is the August Queen, the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. I want all the people to know that I'm the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. The August Queen, the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. The August Queen, the mother of Mary, you are the August Queen. Our mother Mary, oh, the August yes. Queen. Go! Jesus! Blessed Mother, as we are getting ready to retire, we offer this trumpet, trumpet blast as our joyful moment, as a way of expressing our joy. As you have blessed us, we are happy and we are thanking you. Amen. Ah, Jesus. Thank you, Blessed Mother. Mm. Thank you, Queen of Heaven. Thank you, Queen of the Prophets. Yeah. You have done mighty things. And we are grateful. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Blessed Mother. Amen. Thank you for the anointing that kept flowing without limit. Thank you, Queen of the Saints. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. We well, appreciate you. Oh, Jesus. Now I want to be this song. Everybody hey. celebrate. Now I'm a man in this song. That is true. Now I'm a queen in this song. Everybody celebrate. Now I'm a man in this song. Now I'm a man in this song. Now I'm a man in this song. Everybody celebrate. Now I'm on the so. We are celebrating now. So. Everybody celebrate now. Now I'm on the so. Everybody celebrate now. Now I'm on the so. Now I'm on the so. Now I'm on the so. Queen of heaven. Now I'm on the so. Queen of heaven. Now I'm on the so. Now I'm on the so. Our August Queen, now our mother be this so. Our August Queen, uh -huh. now our mother be this so. Hey. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, this very prayer is so magnifying. Uh, look, it's just like, let us just follow her and begin to go up, to go upstairs. She was in upstairs in the upper room. We just feel like, I just feel like, let us keep going up with her. <laughs> but it's not yet the time. Blessed Mother, we thank you and we appreciate you. Amen. We are thanking the host of heaven that came down to be with us in this prayer. Amen. Above all, and in a special way, <laughs> we are thanking the mighty God of heaven and earth Amen. who allowed us to share the same mother with him. You see, to share the same mother with God is, <laughs> if you think about it, you know that it's a great privilege that we have. Very great privilege. That because of Mary, I have become a brother of Jesus, a sister of Jesus. You know what that means? Huh? And even because of her, you know how um, uh, my name now becomes Brother Zomta. Brother Zomta. Because of the August vis visitation. 
the August Queen. Hey, hey. And so, my dear friends, we are thanking the host of heaven, the Trinity. We bow. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the great work that has taken place in this prayer. Amen. Thank you, all the hosts of angels and all the 24 elders and all the heavenly beings that we do not even know their names and their ranks. We appreciate you all. Amen. For you, we are here because your queen is here. We are grateful. Thank you, Blessed Mother. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank Amen. you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name. We Amen. cover this prayer with the most precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we pray over the instruments that are being used in the course of this prayer. May God bless them mightily. Amen. And we thank our mother for our sister that was used to provide such magnifying, thrilling, and electrifying voice and songs. May our blessed mother recognize you and bless you. May you find her favor. All the members of the rosary team under the leadership of our sister, Rosemary, our, our go. May God bless them all for such sacrifice they are making in the name of Jesus. Amen. All others that are playing roles in this program, we ask Mama to visit them in a special way in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Go, sisters! Thank you, Mama, and we are very happy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Madam. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Eshadai. We cover this message, Mother of Jesus. And then now that the mother is mother is now ascending. Mother is about to ascend. If you want to hold her cloth, you can hold her now. If you want to hold her legs, you can hold her legs. Mama, we well, thank you. In Jesus' name. And we we'll honor her with Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God. God, pray for us Mother Mother now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us and us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. At this hour, we offer thanksgiving songs to our Blessed Mother for such beautiful moment with her. Mama, we thank you. 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 Mama, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mary, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mama, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mary, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mama, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.